we've actually had a long connection with um, Maggie Stables because she was in the Sirens of yeah. Time. She was also in the story that you wrote, Even and Smythe. She was in, in fact, you, you were in her first audio as well, The Marian Conspiracy. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so got, lovely, got, lovely Maggie. Uh, I was going to say, do you want to talk, tell us about Maggie? Yeah, oh, well, Maggie was just wonderful. And I did actually, I, I had already, I had a longer association with her even than that, actually, because the first time I met Maggie was uh, on a theatre season that I did uh, in Sidmouth, in Devon, uh, in the summer of 1996. So that was, you know, we would, we did some theatre shows together. Uh, Nick Briggs was also in the same season, by the way. So, uh, the three of us were kind of bonded over various Alan Akebourne plays and a slightly ropey adaptation of Wuthering Heights, I remember. Uh, and it was weekly rep, you know, the old fashioned, uh, thing that hardly exists anymore, but there are a few little theatres around Britain that still do it where, you know, it's called weekly rep because you do a different play every single week, which is just extraordinary because it means you have almost no rehearsal time. It's as much as you can do to learn the lines and get on and do it and then the following week I mean at any given time you're kind of working on three plays you're doing the one that you're performing this week you're rehearsing the next one for next week and you're already learning the lines for the one after that which is just incredible but anyway we had a good time and that was my first time with Maggie who was just a wonderful I mean she was a lovely lovely person but she was also a fantastically good actor uh, she was a fascinating character she had so many strings to her bow she was a magistrate as well as an actor she was a, a justice of the peace and uh, uh, she had some extraordinary life experiences which I think you can actually hit, sort of feel them even if you don't know about them in her performances because she was someone who had lived such a rich life and done so many interesting things that uh, uh, you know she she brought this sort of extraordinary uh, a kind of substance to her performances, Evelyn, that, that, that spoke of, you know, experience and, and wisdom. Uh, and she was delightful. She also, she had a filthy sense of humour and the dirtiest laugh you've ever heard. So she wasn't sort of grand. She was wonderful. Oh, we used to sit there cackling at outrageous jokes and things. She was wonderful. And we, you know, we all miss her terribly, but I, I, I just listened to the pirates again, by the way, before, before talking to you about this. And, and so I, you know, heard her again and it's the first time I've listened to it for a long time. And, um, Gosh, she's good, isn't she? She's just wonderful. Good old Maggie. If you enjoyed what you heard in this clip from the Sirens of Audio podcast, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss out on another episode from us. And if you want to find out more about us, including our back catalogue of episodes, you can head over to sirensofaudio.com.